so guys right here I just have a blank email dot pi so first of all you wanna um, download a Python module which is gonna be SMTB library this helps you to send emails for absolutely free obviously it's a Python module so down in here in the terminal I'm using Visual Studio code but you could also open up command prompt by typing in CMD and I'm going to download pip install SM sorry SMTP library I think this comes together with Python but if it doesn't you guys can download it so pip install SMTP library sometimes yeah exactly so uh, SMTP library comes together with Python so the first thing you want to do you want to import SMTP library after that you want to type you want to give in a variable so SMTP library object so this is the object that we are going to be using to send the mail to login and all those kind of stuff so SMTP library object is going to be equal to SMTP library dot SMTP we are establishing the connection so SMTP dot gmail dot com and then we give the port number which is 587 no let me explain what's going on so we are establishing the connection through accessing the SMTP library and then we are using the SMTP itself to establish a connection with the gmail with gmail.com now I am using gmail if you are using yahoo it may be smtp.yahoo.com and it might differ so smtp.gmail.yahoo.com and then the port number which is 587 in case 587 does not work if it throws an error you guys can check 465 in case if that doesn't work right after this you want to say smtp object dot eh hello hello now this is the way kind of like saying hello to the server so gmail.com we are saying hello and establishing a connection so SM, after that smtp library dot start start tls now in case you get some random error that you guys can't figure out the actual like the problem you guys can actually put this in start tls so i'm putting this in in case a problem occurs so right after start tls you want to put smtp library object dot login like you want to login into your account and then send the email from your account so the way this works this is kind of like a safety method in your order to use this you guys can put in your email so i'm gonna put uh, i have two emails so sanjayraj777 at gmail.com that's my first one and after that i want to give a password so basically when you're doing a program you want to share it around to people so you don't want to put your password in there so google actually makes this good feature called app passwords so what you want to do is you want to go okay i'll do it uh, you want to go to google and type app passwords google and after that you want to click on this link i'll put this link right in the description if you guys just don't want to like sign in and stuff so let me uh, sign in so right after you sign in it's gonna ask you it if you have used app passwords previously it's gonna show you that passwords but what you want to do you want to create a new one so I'm gonna press select mail because we want to send an email so device Windows computer if you're on like Mac Blackberry iPad iPhone you could do that but it's fine I'll click on generate it's gonna create an app password which is gonna be kind of like my real password but it's kind of an encrypted way so when you're sharing passwords and all it's really useful so you copy that you put this in the password section so when you log in you want to put your email and then your password after that I take the SMTP object and then I put send mail and inside that you want to say three things three parameters okay first one is from second one is to third one is the object and the body so the first one from you're sending it from your email so let me actually copy this email so you guys actually get an idea of what I'm doing I copy that I put in the first parameter and then I put a comma who are we sending it to I'm sending it to my second email but if you want to send it to someone else this is where you want to put your um, email their email the person who you are sending it to so this is my actual email this is my second email 
So the third one, right after the person you're sending it to, the email, the third one you want to put subject exactly like that. Subject, then you put a colon and you put some subject. I'll just say hello. And right after this, you want to put a backslash. You want to put a backslash and an end. Actually, in Python, this means to leave a line. So when you leave a line from the subject, it from the subject it goes to the body. So that's the way it works. I'll just say, how are you? And a question mark. And you don't want to just continue that. You don't want to keep on sending mails, right? So at the end, you type SMTP library object and then you type quit which is kind of very easy so you put f5 run it python file yeah python interpreter you run it through the python interpreter and then it's gonna run this i i hope it doesn't show any errors and there it's done so let me go and check my mail mm, so i sent it to sanjiraj vlogs yeah so if I actually check it, it should be right there. It's okay if you guys see other mails as well. I'll, no, nothing new. So here, as you guys can see, I got the email from Sanjay Raj 777 email account. And these are just for testing. I did it. So Sanjay Raj 777 at gmail.com. As you guys can see, the subject is hello. And also I have put how are you. So this is the latest one. So zero minutes ago that's it guys like that's it so easy to send emails and also if you guys want to know how to send text messages using python like leave a like or, or comment down below if you want that if you made it until the end of the video i'm so thankful thank you guys i'll see you in the next video peace